Good morning, Joachim Sommerson. Very nice of you to join us this morning. Thank you, Alf. Nice to be uh, talking to you again. Uh, this morning you have uh, released uh, a very interesting uh, uh, press release about uh, digital cash, which you have been working on for a while. But before we get into that, can you start by explaining to us a little bit about why we need digital cash to begin with? Oh yeah, um, well, um, we, we believe um, that uh, we've taken this with online payments too far. Uh, for the last 10 years, we've made ourselves dependent on the net. It's gone far too far. Uh, we need to break that dependence. Uh, and and it's, it's not something odd, really. We, we've been paying uh, offline for thousands of years. It's just the last 10 years that has been sort of almost like a parenthesis in the human history. And Crunchfish, I think we are destined to set that right again. And, and, and I think we're seeing it with... Um, uh, what is called CBDC, uh, Central Bank Digital Currency, uh, they are now coming into the market in a big way and, and they want to digitize what they have always have been the sole authority to, uh, to issue, uh, physical cash, and they, they need to modernize it. So that, that is sort of one reason. But also, as I said, for any sort of um, network dependent uh, payment service, which is essentially every, every, every one of them, uh, whether it's cards or real-time payment, closed-loop wallet, crypto, whatever it is, um, in order to get a 24-7 robustness, um, you, um, you, you can't do that. No matter how much you invest in IT infrastructure, you won't get it. But with our approach, uh, with our digital cash approach, that's possible to achieve. So I, I think this is the next generation that will come to the market. Mm. And this is what uh, and this is what you get into with um, uh, the press release this morning. You say that you are teaming up with Swish to create a, a solution for digital cash together. Can you tell us a little bit more about that? Yeah, we, we've always been um, uh, very close and friendly with Swish. Uh, I think this is a great company. Uh, Two years ago, we announced that we had a partnership with Blipit, uh, mm -hmm. and, and I'm very excited that we will uh, now start working on uh, making digital cash available uh, on Swish. Swish is, as you know, uh, is all online. Uh, you, you simply can't sign off a payment. You need a bank, bank ID, which is sort of uh, th that step is certainly an online step. Uh, but, but Swish has sort of been a tremendous success in the Swedish market, having, uh, what is it, 95% uh, of all the Swedes are now using it. Uh, and, uh, but, but they realized that uh, they can't make sort of Swish 100% uh, robust. And it was interesting, on the same day as we entered in with this uh, uh, entry to a PT PTS uh, innovation competition, uh, FI in Sweden, our financial regulator, called all the banks, uh, the same day, uh, I don't know if it was destiny, uh, that they will, they will have to come and explain how they can make Swish uh, a stable sort of payment service because it's mission, or it's society critical uh, that it becomes that way. I think Swish, Swish understands that this is a, a great way of doing it, but um, now I think uh, we, we, yeah, we, we will sort of start working on it. Uh, we'll start doing it in a testing environment. Hopefully it goes well in this competition and then... Um, uh, we will be able to start seeing uh, digital cash in Swish, given that the banks, which are the distribution channel and the owners of Swish, allows it because it's sort of it would have to be their choice. Mm -hmm. uh, and just over a week ago, you said that you were also in cooperation with Visa to create a solution for digital cash for that uh, global card company. Uh, is there an inherent uh, conflict in that you're working with Swish, an instant payment app, and with a car company, which are, between themselves, they are competing payment uh, solutions? Yeah, you, you could look at it that way. I, I think for us, it's certainly no, uh, you know, uh, Swish is one wallet. Uh, with the Visa, we, uh, you know, if we start Swish, one wallet have 15 banks. Uh, Visa is working with 15,000 banks, uh, which is sort of uh, huge. Our goal is to get into every single wallet of the world as, as we believe that this thing with digital cash will be something that all wallets want to have in order to get that robustness that we are talking about. Mm -hmm. So for us, it's absolutely key uh, to get sort of ease as well. But, but it also, I think one thing that we announced uh, also was it two weeks ago uh, that we have made payment service interoperable. Uh, that means that wherever then you can 
you know, in the future, wherever you can accept visa payments, um, if they are part of our interoperability, you can also do Swish payments and vice versa. So I, I think that interoperability is just, uh, I, I think, yeah, digital cash was a fantastic innovation, but the interoperability that we announced two weeks ago is really, you know, it, it depend, it, it, it's built on digital cash, but, but I think the sheer idea that we are bringing together cross-border, cross-scheme, cross-service, uh, making it interoperable is, is fantastic. So uh, I, I think it is just, we, we're creating an ecosystem here at Crunchfish uh, and working with all the sort of big sort of payment services in the world. Uh, I think Visa was a great sort of thing that we got. Uh, Swish is fantastic from, from a Swedish perspective, but um, we, we are um, on a mission to um, change the world of digital payments forever. Mm. And you're talking about the future here, so I'm wondering uh, how far into the future are we talking about? If you were to guess, when can I pay uh, by digital cash in an offline, offline environment here in Sweden? Well, um, yeah, this, I, th I think this will, you know, we, we're already with, with all different kinds of uh, schemes, uh, as we, we can work with any scheme, real-time payment is what Swish is all about. Uh, we are doing co-creates right now uh, with various sort of uh, examples of schemes. Uh, with Swish, I think we'll, um, yeah, I, I think the, the tempo, how quick it will go, will be set by Swish. Uh, it will be set by their banks uh, for the rollout. And I, these are out of my control. Uh, but, but we are ready. Uh, we, we could do uh, within, and, and it will, Swish has a great sandbox environment. So we, we can start sort of making everything sort of ready there. And then it's just a matter of a switch, to switch it from a sandbox, a testing environment, over to the, what's called a production environment, which, where Swish goes live. Uh, but, but that's, again, when that will be, it's a decision from um, Swish and, and their owners, their banks. Uh, we're ready. Uh, we, we can start uh, tomorrow to do that integration. And, and, and it's not hard because we're not, we're not really changing the, uh, the, the rail. Uh, there obviously has to be some UX changes and there has to be some design thinking here. But, but it's not, a, um, I think, a, in my opinion, massive undertaking at all. Uh, I, maybe it's it's sort of massive or not massive, but maybe it's the biggest part is, is to think through uh, just the shift that Swish goes from being an online payment service to be something that is can do both online and offline. Uh, to to think think through that with their owners, with the banks, basically here in Sweden. But we are ready. Uh, so short answer on your question. I hope it will be this year, uh, if I could say it that way. But uh, it's it's sort of not just my decision to make well we'll just have to look forward to that uh this has been fascinating you uh so i just uh, want to thank you and i wish you best of luck with your competition entry together with uh, swish thank you no we're very excited as well this is going to be great thanks alf thank you bye-bye bye, -bye. bye.